Video coming everybody, D here, and today I want to talk to you guys about my history in Dungeons and Dragons and um, how I play the game. So, as you guys know, in Elder Scrolls, I play as a wood elf and I like archery and uh, shooting the crap out of stuff. Ta -da! And that's how I play in Dungeons and Dragons as well. So, I decide to play the game by going in areas where the enemies can't see me and sniping them. I was I was just really good at what, did, at what I did. I didn't lose any health when I played the game. Um, I was always out of sight and I was always taking out the enemies. I just had a really... I had really good luck when I played Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so, let's talk about some conflicts. The worst conflict I ever had in Dungeons and Dragons was when we were fighting these big three monsters in a shipping yard and uh, the boxes I was hiding behind got smashed by one of the monsters we were attacking. So I come into his vision and I'm finally seen. Not only that, two other allies, aka two other players, are badly hurt and they're right under his feet and can kill him, uh, kill them instantly. And, um, so it's, it's really, it just, it's really bad. Um, so, <sighs> what pisses me off is one of the other players, it's his turn. And, um, he decides to make the stupidest move by attacking a monster that we haven't attacked yet. And that monster hasn't even bothered to attack us because it's stupid. And, um... <sighs> I was pissed because I'm like, dude, help us, you know? We're, we're about to get hurt. And he's like, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna help you. That's basically what he said. He didn't really say that, but that's basically just how it, it, it felt like. And, um... So yeah, he attacks uh, the other monsters, or one of the other monsters, and um, he got such a good roll that it basically almost killed it. It had like 5 health remaining, and it started out with 20. And that hit could have taken out the monster and saved us from being slaughtered. <sighs> so... Basically what happened to us is the big guy decides to take a swing at me. I roll for dodge and I get a lucky roll. I was so happy. And uh, at the same time, the two allies of mine uh, escaped because the big guy was distracted trying to attack me. So we survived and I was very grateful. Now, after the game... I was still extremely pissed that the other player decided to make that stupid move and not help us. And um, he's like, well, I'm just playing the game I want to play. I'm like, well, you need to... The way we were playing the game was teamwork. And just the fact that we're supposed to be working on a team as a team and he doesn't want to help is just bullcrap. The next conflict slash asshole I've had to deal with in Dungeons and Dragons was um, this one kid who recently. This is actually the most recent. This is this year. Because last year I was a junior and that was my first time playing Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. So this year I'm a senior and we're playing Dungeons and Dragons again. It's a little bit different play style. And uh, it's it's a GURPS play style, so we can go to different dimensions, and there's different crazy stuff. And uh, being a wood elf in a cowboy time period is kind of odd. And this other player comes into the game a day uh, after we start. And so he comes into the game with high-tech armor, guns, invisibility potions and tracking devices and all this other crazy crap and I'm like are you kidding me I mean are, are you kidding me you're seriously gonna start the game like that 
And he was asking if he could have angel wings and all this other stuff. I'm like, really, dude? When you play the games, you don't start out as a badass. You start out as a rookie, and you earn your reputation. And he knew nothing about Dungeons & Dragons. And just the fact, because he played uh, Skyrim or, or some other Elder Scrolls games or whatever, he thought he knew everything about Dungeons & Dragons. And don't get me wrong. I thought I knew everything about Dungeons and Dragons when I first started playing because I played Elder Scrolls. But with me, I have a more realistic perception of how the game should be played and a better strategic role. Instead of somebody who just tries to go in there and make everything look awesome and tries to be the big guy. Now, I play with strategy. I know how to play the game well. So, oh my god, this is freaking Necromancer. Sorry, I'm, I'm playing Skyrim while I talk to you guys. This freaking necromancer keeps healing himself while I'm trying to kill him. Okay, so, um, so yeah, he's just really overpowered. And he starts getting pissed because I start telling my friend Hayden that he's overpowered. And I don't care, I'm gonna speak my mind of how I feel. And, um, so yeah, he starts getting upset. And then I'm like, well, dude, you have all this stuff. And it's ridiculous, man. And also, too, he kept taking credit for stuff that I did in the game. He went into this place, boarded up a bunch of crap with metal, and I, I, I heard some suspicious noises because I'm supposed to be a sheriff who's guarding a mansion, and he, he sneaks in there, and I'm searching around, and I find this stuff. He makes his invisible potion go. I, I blow up this um, pathway because there is this big robot guy that I found who I can order around, and, um, I told him to blow up the, uh, the wall, and I saw footprints from the dust that settled down, because he was escaping while he was invisible. And so, yeah. And then, um, he starts saying, oh, well, you would have never found that place if it wasn't for me, and all this, and da 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 and I'm just like, dude, shut up. Yeah, so he was just a douchebag. Another thing that was really rude and mean about him is after we completed the cowboy styled dimension, we were leveling up the next day. And he basically left our group. And he wanted to continue playing the game. And he really upset my friend Hayden, who was the dungeon master, by saying, When are we going to get done leveling up? I want to start playing. And this pissed off Hayden because it's like, dude, calm down. We're still leveling up. You need to stop. You know, be patient. And so he's like, whatever. Your guys' game was boring. Your guys' game's over. I'm going to a different group. So he left our group and went to another table. And so we're like, hey, you can't come back to us. If you want to switch groups, you can't. So too bad. And yeah, that's basically what happened. So, that's basically my crappy experiences in Dungeons and & Dragons, and how I played the game. So, yeah, um, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, I know I wasn't on film in this video, I, I was kind of lazy, I just wanted to play Skyrim right now and just talk to you guys. So, um, I will see you guys later. And, uh, please subscribe, like, and stay awesome, I guess. I mean, I don't really have a great outro, but I'll see you guys later. Auf Wiedersehen, mein friends.